And next weather meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez joins us once again with what's next for us here in South Florida. Lisette. Yes, and good afternoon to everyone. We are in for another round of storms. We've already dealt with wet weather so far today and some strong storms earlier, and this will continue to be the case throughout the day. These rounds of rain that will roll through, so you just want to be prepared and have your umbrella with you. And if you hear thunder, you want to head inside and wait until those storms pass. As we take a look, you're noticing that although earlier we had a lot of rain sweep through parts of Broward County here in our Roosevelt Gardens, Wilton Manors. Those showers and storms are now offshore. So at least these showers and storms are moving fairly quickly, but there is a lot of lightning over the Atlantic waters. So a heads up for boaters as we could see some more water spouts. We did have a water spout earlier near Ocean Reef, and now we're seeing a bit of rain just off to the east of Leisure City near Southwest 107th Avenue, as well as some rain right up across the Upper Keys at this time moving over County Road 905 near Garden Cove. So throughout the day, a marginal risk of severe weather, and that is for Broward and most of Miami-Dade, as some of the storms that fire up could turn strong to severe. Gusty winds, lightning, heavy rain, flooding, you know the drill. It's been the case all week, and this pattern continues today as we have plenty of moisture, and then now the heating of the day that's helping to fuel these storms. So scattered storms as we head in and out of the afternoon hours and into the evening rush. You're going to want to make sure to stay tuned to our chief meteorologist Ivan Cabrera and meteorologist Cindy Presler as well. So as we take a look late tonight, it starts to quiet down and we are going to continue to deal with these gusty downpours today because we have that southwesterly flow that's favoring our side of the peninsula of the east coast. Lower moisture means less afternoon storm coverage for us as we head into the weekend and that's reflected on our moisture tracker. The deeper shades of blue over us today indicating higher moisture but then lighter shades of blue into the weekend means lower moisture and the rain chance then decreases to more of our typical stuff we see in the summertime, right? As we look outside though, gotta tell you, not a bad view from our Rusty Pelican camera because it hasn't been raining everywhere so far today. It's been scattered and that'll be the case throughout the rest of the day. 80s right now and highs climbing to the upper 80s and around 90 degrees. With the humidity, it's gonna feel like the mid to upper 90s. Your Saturday morning is quiet, but some storms do develop in the afternoon, just not as widespread as what we've seen the past few days and then quiet in the morning on Sunday and then some scattered storms develop in the afternoon. The good news is it's quiet in the tropics over the next seven days. Cyclone development is not expected. Here's your next weather seven day forecast heading into the weekend. More sunshine, not as much rain, but still some spotty storms heating up to the 90s and next week could feel like the triple digits.